Hello guys, welcome to Cashew Farm Enterprise. Here at the Cashew Farm Enterprise, we help educate cashew farmers on how to run a successful cashew farm business. So this is the right channel for you if you want to go into the cashew farming. Now we have various videos we have done over time that can give you the proper foundation into the cashew farming. Now, no matter the level you are, if you're a beginner, if you're already into the cattle farming and you're facing some challenges, now this channel can give you the proper guide. So we have various videos on various topics and various areas we have done in the time past. So do well to check the channel, hit on the subscribe button, you can turn up your notification so that as we upload more of our videos, you will get it first hand. So now we are going to be looking at a question a lot of farmers have been asking and these are questions a lot of new persons in the business have been asking. Now you know feeding is an essential aspect in the catfish. Now if you don't feed your fishes properly, they will have so many issues ranging from delayed growth, cannibalism and even diseases. Now as for humans, malnutrition affects the humans, also your fishes, so adequate and proper feeding is essential. And because feeding accounts for a bulk of the money in the catfish farm business, now nearly 70% of your capital goes into feeding. So this aspect should be treated properly if you want, don't want to run into losses when you enter the catfish farm business. So we are going to be looking at how to feed your fishes and how many bags to use in feeding them. Now, so many persons have asked if I want to maybe train 100 fishes, how many bags of feed should I go for? If I want to train 500 fishes, how many bags of feed should I go for? Now, this has been a recurrent question a lot of persons have been asking. So today, we are going to be looking at how to feed 1,000 fishes from the fingerling to the table size. How to feed 1,000 fishes. So, we are going to be a breakdown of how many bags is required to feed 1,000 fishes from finger lane to the add table size, which is the 1 kg size. Now we have a video we have done before, so you can check it out. That we, is for the from Juvenile, and we also state the cost. But today we are not stating the cost. Now the feed cost varies. Depending on the type of feed you want to make use of, now it varies on the cost. Now the foreign feed are of higher cost compared to the feed produced here in the Nigeria and the quality also differs. Now using a good quality feed is essential for every cashew farmer. Now the benefit you get from using good quality feed is quick growth, your fishes will grow very well, now you harvest on time, they, they grow very well and they are not prone to diseases. Now most of all these feed, um, other alternative sources of feeding or feed some persons produce themselves that are not of high quality. Now you notice that some of, the, some of these feed are deficient of the protein content and also vitamins. And you notice your fishes will start having the crash scores and start developing some ill diseases and some infections. So going for good quality feed is essential for every cartridge farmer. Now in our today's video, we are going to be looking at the cost, the number of feed you use. Now, how many bags of feed to feed 1,000 fishes? So, on, a, on, a, on our next episode, we are going to be looking at the cost. Maybe using some feed as a case study to do the cost. But today is basically on how many bags you need to feed the fishes for the 1,000 fishes. So, that's what we are going to be looking at today. Now, bear in mind, we are, we are looking at a feed that has a good conversion ratio. Now, if you don't know what is the food conversion ratio, that is the amount of feed that the fish will need to eat and convert to a kg. Let's say if a fish eats one kg of feed, what, what will it convert in terms of weight? That's the, that is the FROC. So we have a video that explains that. You can go to the channel and you see a video on the FROC. So today we are looking at using high quality feed. How many bags am I going to be using for 1,000? Now, why are we, why are we taking 1,000? 1,000 is like a standard. Now, someone that wants to go into 10,000 fingerlings, you just multiply our calculation by the number, the 10,000. If you're going for 8,000, if you're going to 50,000. Now, if you're doing below, you also do the same. If you're doing below the 1,000. But we're using 1,000 as a standard for the farmer. So, how many bars of feed for 
1000 fingerlings to the table side. So stay tuned as we go into the calculation proper. So go follow with us. I will give you the okay. Now we'll move into the our uh, feeding of 1000. One thousand fingerlings. Now we are looking at how many bags to feed our one thousand fingerlings. So these are questions a lot of persons have asked. Feeding of one thousand fingerlings. How many bags? So a lot of persons have asked these questions and we are going to be doing the calculation now to see okay how many bags will it take you to feed the 1000 fingerlings so how many bags how many kg now bear in mind if you are going to purchase your fingerling now you don't just buy 1000 fingerlings because you want to get 1000 at the end now there, there will be mortality there will be cannibalism now and also even in transportation of your fingerlings from where you bought them to the farm you experience some maybe you lose some some will drop so most times some of the farmers they give you maybe if you buy 1000 they might give you 100 so that maybe because of the mortalities on the way to surface that and also the change of environment and stuff like that now also as the fish tends to grow let's say you have what you, you bought 1000 fingerlings at the end of the selling period you might not be getting 1000 you might be getting with proper care you might get up to like 900 of it and now not all these 900 were attain same size that's what people might not tell you this 900 cannot attain the same size now you have some that are fast growers that will get to one kg why some will, will still be around the 500 grams 600 grams which is the losing size now it depends on the farmer do you want to sell up the first set that are one kg and wait for the other ones to get to one kg or do you want to sell off the one kg size and also this the smaller one you sell them to those that buy the roasting size now it depends on you but what we are looking at today is how many kg or how many bags of feed could give me for 1000 fingerlings or will give me around the 1000 kg i'm looking for so that's what we're doing today so if you're looking for maybe 1000 to get 1000 fishes at the end you don't buy 1000 fingerlings you buy more than that so as, you, as time going, you, you lose some at the end, but the goal is getting 1,000 kg of, let's say you are getting, you are looking for 1,000 kg of fishes. So you don't just buy 1,000 fingerlings, if you are looking for 1,000 kg, you lose some of the, on the way also. So let's go straight into our tables to see how this would work. Now we'll start by doing a table, we insert a table for that. Okay, now the first one is the size of the feed. Like as we have said earlier, we feed, fishes have different sizes. Now look at how many bags. Now also we'll look at the, them in kg. Now that's what we are looking at, the size, the bag. So we have to go take off these two other tables. We are not using them. Oh, let's expand our table to be a little bigger. Now, for fingerling, they take 0 0.8 to 1 1.2 mm. Now, this is depending on the manufacturer of the feed. Now, let me portray this point. The different feed manufacturer label their feed sizes differently. Now, there are some that you, you see, they call it the 0.8, some call it the 1.2. But the 0.8 to the 1.2, the fingerlings can pick them if they are up to fingerlings. They can pick at these stages. Now, the next thing we we'll look at now is how many bags are they taking for the 1,000? How many bags of this 0.8 to the 1.2 is your 1,000 taking? Now, they can take up to a bag. So, you give them 3 kg. That's the feeding 3 kg that you are giving them. They can take up to one bag. Now, after they are done picking this, this will last a duration of two weeks. 
Now they'll get to the juvenile stage. At the juvenile stage, they should be taking 1.5. Some have gotten to the some will get to the juvenile, some I have not gotten so. But for all to be eaten, you have to give them the 1.5 mm and also 3 kg of the 1.5 mm. Now, after you have fed them with the 3 kg of the 1.5 mm, now you see they will now move to the two start picking the 2 mm feed size. Like I said, now they have some that grow faster. So the fishes do grow faster than others. So what you, what will I do in this scenario? Since I have some that are growing faster, that like when some are taking two mm, now the, the, the 1.5 will still be remaining. Some will still be eating the 1.5, so they will still be coming up. So at every stage, you still have some that are growing faster than the others. That's how nature has programmed it to be like. Not that you're a bad farmer if some of your fishes are growing faster and some are coming bad. Every farm experience that. That's why you do what we call the sorting. We sort into different ponds because we, we have in mind that all these fishes will not grow the same. Even in humans, all humans that we are born the same day, even in the same, uh, putting them in the same condition don't grow the same way. There are some that might not be fast eaters, they don't really eat well. So you experience all these things as a farmer. So for the 2mm, now they'll have to eat two bags of the 2mm two bags for the two mm and that two bag is 30 kg now bear in mind that a bag of feed is 15 kg a bag of feed is 15 kg a bag of feed 15 kg so bear that in mind so a bag of feed is 15 kg now after they are done with the, picking the two mm when they move now we have to what we call the three mm now, I have a video on the feeding method on the duration. So, this video is just to show you how many bags 1,000 fingerlings are eating, not or maybe the duration time. So, go through our channel. We have a video on feeding method, the duration that these fishes will take these, these um, sizes of the feed. Now, giving your fishes the wrong size of the feed is one aspect a lot of farmers fail into. Now, fishes that are still picking. 2 mm. If you start giving them the 3 mm, it will be heavy on them. They won't eat. So not don't just switch your feed anyhow. You must understand the, the way of switching the feed. So that should be essential also. Now for the 3 mm, they should be taking four bags. Four bags or 3 mm, and the four bags will give us 60 kg, like we said earlier. That the is a foreign feed, you're, you're, uh, 15 kg for one bag. Now, for all this 0 0.8 to the 3 mm size, please, our advice is go for foreign feed the high, because they have more quality, the protein content is high in this stage. So, these fishes they need good feed and quality feed at this stage. So, do well at this stage to go with a foreign feed at this stage. The foreign feed will serve you more better than any other feed you want to get from the market. So after that, you can now switch to a Nigerian feed that of good quality also from the 4 mm. Now, if you watch it at this stage, they have just eaten just six bags. And this is almost two months that they have stayed. Now, at the 4 mm stage, getting the switching to a Nigerian feed is okay. Now, why to save costs? Because at this stage, the quality are not just, the, the difference are not just much, so you can now switch to the Nigerian feed. So for the four mm, you are going to be giving them the eleven bags. Now bear in mind they, they eat more at this stage now, so you have to reserve money for their feeding at this stage. So they eat more at this stage. You watch at the earlier stage they don't really eat much at that stage, so they take the eleven bags. So, 11 bars is 165 kg. Then, you switch to the 6 mm. Now, for the 6 mm, they take 20 bars. So, at this stage, they eat very much at this stage. They eat very much at this stage. So, the 20 bars is 300 and... The 20 bars was 300 kg. Three hundred kg. 
Then the last, which is the nine mm. By this time, you are preparing the nine mm. Now the nine mm, they will be they will be taking thirty bags of the nine mm. Now, which is four hundred and fifty kg. Like I said earlier, they eat more when they, when they grow. So now this is the number. So let's do our calculation to know, okay, how many, what, what are the total bags we are feeding them? Now for the total. For the total, so we just calculate the two bags, four with the six, plus three with the 17 bags, plus the 30 bags that they have taken before which is a 37 67 bags 67 bags now also note for the kg also we'll do the calculation of the kg and this will give us a 1011 kg so 1011 kg and 67 bags so what we are feeding the fishes so what you are feeding your fishes is so for 1000 finger lengths you will be feeding them 67 bags and 6 kg so 67 bags and 6 kg is what you use in feeding the 1,000 finger length to the table size. Now, what they will get is 1,011 kg. Now, bear in mind, due to some maybe waste, there will be instances here where you feed them, they, they are not eating that time, maybe waste to occur. So, some of these kg and some of them might not really convert to food because of feeding timing and the rest. So, bear in mind, if you are feeding 67 bags, 6 kg, you should be getting with good quality feed, you should be getting 1,000 kg at most for your fishes. Now, for the one, like I said earlier, the 1,000 finger lengths that you want to train, you will not get 1,000 at the end. You might get 900, you might even get below than that if proper care is not taken. So that's why most farmers, what they do, they buy above the 1 kg so that as they are growing, some, some might die on the way. So at the end, they might get a reasonable amount of fishes for sale or for harvest and also i said earlier some of the fishes will not get to one kg at the same time some will get to one kg first 